Welcome to Life in Envelopes. I am Jennifer Bleacher. This channel is all about planning, budgeting, paying off debt, and hopefully one day retiring early. So if those are topics that you are also interested in, then please keep watching. Okay, so I'm going to start today with my new notebook from Plum Paper. <laughs> And I, I needed a notebook. This is just $16. And I needed a notebook because even though I am following the Budget Mom program, and I have the boxed set, and I will be using this today, um, there's a few things that I was doing for my budget before that aren't part of her system that I want to include still with her system. So today I'm going to set up a sinking funds page. And as far as I could tell, there was not... I mean, I use, here I'll show you, I have this, the cash envelope breakdown, and then I um, used her sticky note, this is a sticky note I took to the bank yesterday to, to figure out how much I needed from each category, but I have not been able to find in this system any place where you track your sinking funds, um, so I'm going to go ahead and keep doing that for myself in this notebook. This kit, by the way, is the 7x9 Shabby Chic Fall Sinking Funds Kit, which is available in my Etsy shop. And this is what it looks like. These are um, budget category stickers. Let's see. These here are budget category stickers that I just made for myself as a custom sticker. I do have a custom sticker option in my shop. It's $5. It's very open-ended. You just you just order it and then you email me or you send me a message on Etsy of exactly what you want and then I make it for you. I believe it's going to work. It looks like it's pretty much lined up. I did originally make this for an Erin Condren um, notebook. So let's see today if it lines up. If it doesn't, then I might have to remake this for myself. Okay, so as I said earlier, I did use the Budget Mom November um, booklet here to write out exactly how much I wanted to take out for, for each category. And then I filled this out and I took this to the bank yesterday. And I'm using my new Budget Mom Filofax wallet. It's so pretty. Right now I only have two envelopes in here, but I'm thinking about adding more. Okay, so this is the money I got from the bank. And I'm just going to spread that out. So as I'm doing this off to the side here, I have this paper, this worksheet from my Etsy shop, which is a printable. It's sinking funds overview. And I just have this always out off to the side to help me remember how much to put in each, each um, envelope. So the envelopes I'm using today, um, these, this is from my neutral line of envelopes in my Etsy shop. Uh, I have a clear background so you can see the cash. I love these envelopes. I can't take credit for them. My good friend Chrissy over from The Mom Life, she she recommended I look into making these, and I love them. By the way, there is, um, there is a link to my Etsy shop in the description box below, along with a 15% coupon code that is always good for my YouTube viewers. Okay, so we're going to start with Christmas. I always like to start by counting how much I have in the envelope to start with. One, two, three, three fifty four, four twenty, four forty, four forty five, four fifty, four fifty five, four sixty. So we're starting with four sixty and we're going to add twenty five. One, two, three, three fifty four, four twenty, four sixty, four eighty, four eighty five, four ninety, four ninety five, five hundred, five oh five. Okay, I already messed up. Should be four eighty five. Two, three, four. There's four hundred. Five, 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 twenty, forty, sixty, sixty five, seventy, seventy five, eighty, eighty five. Okay, whew, good. 485. It's funny because I usually mess up on this first envelope. I don't know why. I think it's because it's such a, a big one, such a large amount. Okay, 
Okay, next up we have birthdays and we just celebrated a family birthday, Papa Bob's birthday. So today I'm going to add 25. So we had zero to start with and today I'm going to add 25. So our next birthday is not until February, but we do have two birthdays in February. So I'll need to try and save up um, our goal is $100 per person, so we're trying to save up $200 before the end of February. <laughs> we might make it. I don't know. <laughs> okay, next we have anniversary. And for anniversary, our anniversary is not until June, so we have lots of time to save for that. We are saving for a nice dinner out, and then if we have anything left over, we're just going to split the difference and um, give it to each other, and we can use it for whatever we want to use it for. 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. So we're starting with 50. And today we're going to add 5 for a total of 55. Twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty, fifty-five. Okay, next up we have car maintenance. And car maintenance is for things like oil changes and eventually when we need car repair um, to have some money to pay for that. So let's see. Today we are going to, let's see how much we have to start with. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75, 80. So I have 80 to start with. And today we're going to add 10. So we should end up with 90. So here's 10. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90. Next is our back to school envelope. And we're just starting to rebuild this. 10, 20, 30, 40. So we have 40 to start with. We use this to pay like all the registration and textbook fees. Okay, today we're going to add $10. Um, I would like to increase this so that I could also include like school supplies and shoes and clothes, but we already have a very tight budget, so. <laughs> 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. I forgot to write 90 here. Let's do that. Okay. Okay, next we have the vet, and this is for my dog's annual vet visit, um, which is quite pricey. 20, 40, 60, 81, 120, 140, 160, 182. Nice, we already have $200. Our goal here for this one is 480. And today we're going to add 20 more dollars. So we should have 220. 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 220. Okay, next up is Amazon, and this is for our annual fee. Um, we're trying to save $100 for that. I think it's around $100. So we have 20, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65. <clears throat> so we currently have 65, and today we're going to add $5, so that brings should bring us up to 70. 20, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70. There we go. Kind of wrinkled. There we go. Next up is car registration. And this is also one of those really big 
expenses that come up every year for us. So let's see how much we have to start with. One, two, so 200, 205, 210, 215, 220, 225, 230, 235. So we're starting with 235, and today we are going to add 15, so that means we should have 250 when we are all done today. One hundred, two hundred, two ten, two fifteen, two twenty, two twenty-five, two thirty, two thirty-five, two forty, two forty-five, two fifty. Woohoo! <laughs> so we're estimating our car registration to be about three hundred and fifty dollars this year. <clears throat> so we are just a hundred dollars shy right now. Okay, vitamins. This is for a um, package of vitamins. Like I, I buy in bulk every six months, so that's what this is for. 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120. And that's actually our goal, but I've decided to go ahead and continue adding money to this envelope. So just give us a head start on the next round. So we're gonna add 10 today, so that should be 130. Fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, one hundred, one ten, one twenty, one thirty. If you hear like a squeaking chair, that's just my son Logan. He's in the background. We're dealing with some medical stuff, and um, he just—I just want him close to me all the time, <laughs> so I can keep an eye on him. Okay, so that's a hundred and thirty. Okay. Oh wait. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so emergency. Okay, so it's a little bit off here. Yep, I'm gonna have to readjust these, these stickers. Okay, so emergency. Yeah, let's see. This will be extra week, David's meds, close, emergency. So I have like a gap. Okay, emergency. Oh, this is really thick. Oh yeah, this is our actual, our whole emergency fund. It's not actually a sinking fund, this is our emergency fund, but but we do add money to it every month to keep it growing. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, six hundred. Okay, I don't wanna screw this one up. <laughs> 600 plus 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 80. So 180. Okay, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 65. Okay, so we currently have 845. We did have to use some of this recently, so we are below our $1,000 goal there. So, which is, which is why, so it's 845, which is why I'm glad we're adding money every month because we need to build it back up again. So today we're going to add $20 which means we should have 865. One, two, three, four, five, six, 600. 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. And five. 865. Yes, that's how much we should have. This envelope is so thick. <laughs> okay, 865. Okay, close. And we have a hundred dollars, it looks like. <laughs> okay, so we currently have a hundred dollars for close, and we're today we're going to add 10, so we have 100, I'm gonna add 10, so that brings us to 110. Just nice and easy to count. This is actually just for my younger son. The rest of the family, we're trying to not buy new clothes as part of our paying off debt strategy. Okay, so David's meds, 
So these are meds that we have to get for David about every six months, and they're quite pricey. Even with insurance, they're quite pricey. So 20, 40, 60, 81, 120. And we're going to add 20 today, which will bring us up to 140. 20, 40, 60, 81, 120, 140. Okay, next we have our extra week. Let's see how much we have. Oh, we had to use this actually last last week for our extra week. Um, this is extra week is we get paid, we both get paid once a month. And we get paid the same amount whether there's four weeks in that month or five weeks in that month. So we need some extra cash for groceries and um, gas on that extra week, which happens like four or five times a year. Okay, so we currently have nothing, but today we're going to add 50, which means we will end with 50. Okay, so we have $40 left, which is exactly how much we should have left for my spending money, which is not part of sinking funds. Spending money is a cash envelope. It's really my only cash envelope now. Since the coronavirus hit, we, we got rid of our other cash envelopes. <clears throat> so this is really the only one I have left. And these clear envelopes are also available in my Etsy shop. Okay, so let's see um, how much this is all together. Yay! And this is where we do the happy dance when everything works out good. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. We currently have $2,540 in our sinking funds. Woo! Um, if you enjoyed this video, will you please give it a thumbs up and I will see you all again next time. Bye everyone! I just wanted to give a quick shout out and big thank you to all of my PR friends, Kara Jo Plans, The Mom Life, Kadima, Joey's Plans, and Asia Sierra Budgets. Thank you guys so much for supporting my channel. I've put a link to their channels in the description box below. Please go check them out. Thanks for watching everybody. See you again next time. Bye!